done. All right, cover right. that meeting. All right, KJ. Me Let's and go. you. Let's cut to the chase. All right. All right. This is for you. This is uh, the dividends for the pharma division. Since Thursday, this is four days of work. So, I think we will be able to get more. Um, right now, our production are around two to hold three on, k. Hold on. Sorry. This is fifteen thousand dollars. Yum. That is. Um, KJ, are we pivoting away from being a tech company and just going into pharmaceuticals? I mean, this is incredible money. Yeah, this is uh, under half a week work, basically. It's uh, well, it's half a week, around four days of work. We're we trying to wrap it up as well to yeah, do more. Uh, this is incredible. Yeah, it's I just to a speak, start. By the way, with I need to speak with the other board members. For now, I do believe we're kind of using my account as like an interim. Yeah, I've been sending you. Account. Uh, yeah, I sent you five k, like you know, promised from yep, every manager. Noted. So yeah, talk to Mario about that. Um, like I was trying to say, right now we are we hit the hundred. That was the deal we had with you guys. You know, you remember back at Cyprus. I told you guys when we were up there, we would figure everything out. You know, we would start to divide it out money. I we're, do. We're not making that much that I hope for, and I hope you know we can make more in the future. But everybody who's pushing, they agree. You know, like even the the growers are making money. You guys make money. We make money. Everybody make money. This is not the fifteen percent we agreed on, but it's a beginning. Um, yeah. Listen, I, I think this is still very adequate. I mean, they're not adequate. This is exceptional. Yeah. You've been absolutely crushing it. And I mean, if anything, I think one of the things we want to talk to with the board is how we can support you more, as well as whether that's if you want, you know, power to hire people or stuff like that. I mean, you've, AJ, you are one of the core backbones of the company right now. Yeah. I'm hoping the idea here is to be able to push out 4,000 baggies a day. That it, equals around six thousand dollars for you guys a day that will be forty two thousand dollars for you guys a week that is the goal right now and i'm working on it i've been talking to other people who have their strain up north they're starting to buy my shit so they make more money that means that i can produce more equals i can give you more money so that is kind of like the not to go into too much deep of it, but yeah, not, right now it's around like 2 to 3k a day. And I want to pump it up to 4k a day. That is like the goal. So yeah. Incredible. Are you staying, as your operation scales, biggest thing, the only thing I'm sure you're doing this, are you staying safe? Are you staying, yeah. you know, locked in? Yeah, we're locked in. We're working with different people. We're checking in so we don't get fucked in the end by doing it. At the same time, we're trying to keep our position, you know, up there at 100% and pushing the other people down or keep it status quo. Uh, people are eager. I told them, like, they're eager to push even more. But I've been holding them back and said, hey, you know, one day I maybe need you guys to push for 12 hours. Right now, you're doing three, four hours. It's enough. Go and do something else. So I'm trying not to burn out people doing the shit as well. I, they I want to do more. going to ask. I was gonna ask how's how's personnel like are they are they still driven hungry etc this yeah. is amazing some personnel are very driven they're very like pushing other people are doubling in and out a little bit but uh, we're kind of like in the starting phase so it's all and good they're, and they're making money on their own because one thing i was going to ask is if i have some of the more sort of greener you know company assets that mm -hmm. typically do more work around us with like the contracts and heist yeah if I pitch them a chance to get, you know, pharma certified, would you be yep. willing to train any of them up to do yeah, sales? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. No worries. So, to put it very easy for you, I can put it like this. One brick is 100 baggies. 100 baggies take you roughly 40 minutes to 50 minutes to push on the streets. Of course, if you're Gucci with a guy up north, because if you're just starting, you know, 
they don't like you that much, you know? They will maybe try to kill you, rob you, whatever. But, 100 baggies equals 2,000 roll cash. We give that for $700 to everybody who wants, you know? So they're getting 1,300 in profits. Of that 700, 150 goes to the company and 550 is going to the grower. The grower pay $400 to make the one, one brick and he makes profit of 150. I know Everyone, everyone's eating. I love it. This everybody's eating. Everybody's agreeing to this terms right now. And um, I know that we agreed on 15% to you guys. It's not 15 right now, but we need to, yeah, we need to pay bump you know on our weed to be able to give you guys 15 percent. so i think that makes sense i'm not i'm i'm gonna be honest this was more than i expected the return was for now no 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 we're starting it's just this beginning so yeah, i mean this already looks great though if you look do Damn, you have jj you, has, yeah, fuck. no mickey do you have your um do you have a chip on you hq i need you uh which i think i have a zaza on all right do you have a nita chip oh uh, it does matter it doesn't matter Actually, can, yeah i can look anyways yeah you can look am anyways. i looking at overall am i looking at individual turf or the no, overall turf land you're looking at um you're looking at our turf sandy and all the strains up there you see that you see like anita you see zaza you see the snake anita pit. zaza snake pit Chronication, Pago Puff, the Godfather, Sandgrass. And I know yeah. a lot of these are just the names of uh, basically HQ apps, right? Yeah. This is the name of their weed strain. Like ours is Anita. So Anita is ours. Sus is ours. Snake Pit, I know who they are, but I think they're giving up, you know? Apparently it sounds like it on the phone when I talk to them. Chronication is a Slice Crew. So the people who are Chronication are pushing Anita. Pogo Puff is basically this Jason guy and um, Eugene's crew. They haven't been pushing for a long time. The Godfathers are new people. That is Uncle Uncle T, I think he call him, and Brandon. They're pushing Anita. They're pushing our product. I had a meeting with them, and I'm trying to get them locked in to push our shit. And the bottom one as well is the MC crew up in Sandy. They have problem with um, with product. Just sold them some product and let them get a taste of good quality is good money and then make more money selling our shit than producing their own stuff. Basically, no competition, but we're pushing the baggies on the turf. Yeah, this is incredible. Yeah. I always, I'm going to be honest, I always wondered who were all these fucking crews selling in Sandy and now I know it's, it's all you. Yeah. It's all us. Only thing is Snake Exa is not exactly. us. Exactly. All us. Beautiful. Yeah. And trust me, I had the meeting with this godfather, Uncle T. You know, they're in, I think he's Italian or some shit. I had a meeting at the hotel up north. At the swimming pool, you know, in the water in. It's a fucking crackhead place. Yeah. yeah. He called me Mr. White. I think he was thinking about some breaking bad shit, basically. So it was a good meeting and I, you know, I told them, you know, it's very hard to just start to work against us. So why not work with us? They agreed to that. So it's all good. Nothing hostile. It's just friendly. You know, I told them, you know, I appreciate the competition, but you guys have a long way uh, to go. KJ, I love how you operate. This is, this is probably the best news I've heard all week. Yo, yeah. like I told you, I'm not trying to people to be up there for a long period of time all right so you understand me we're just doing the bare minimum but it seems like everybody else thinks we are just living up there oh this is great um fuck. keep it up yep we'll do Got nothing else uh we have still some time let's uh let's drive let's go try to sort out our uh, cooling issue here yeah you, let's, you need uh, some help let's get you let's get you on a contract this week too jesus Hey, don't you worry about that. Need right? a little bit of a break. Well, I want I had wanted to a while ago to celebrate you hitting 100 actually. Oh, it's so good, you know. You know what's even better than hitting the 100? You know what that is? What's that? Seeing the fucking Cypress going down at the same time hearing fucking Speedy's voice. When I ask him, you know how his day are. And I he sounds it. like he hates his life. 
just enjoy that I shit. I love that. I have a car here if you... Yeah, good competition with them is, is great. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know if they realize it, but in a way, we're actually both helping each other. I think that as long as... You know what's crazy is that competition, that conflict, mm -hmm. is actually good for both parties. It keeps a fire underneath everyone's oh, yeah. you know, toes. As long as it doesn't get too spicy, then, you know... I think what you should do is call Mr. Think Lang. He's like the head of the sanitation shit. And I called him the sanitation union. You should tell him to tell, give you 10% of whatever they make, you know, because you're keeping them on toes, you know, pushing shit. What the fuck you turn? Right, you need to... You know what? what? I'm gonna tell you something. I'm the ultimate person who loves to stir. Yeah, and you. loves to shit talk. Yeah, KJ, I love shit talking, stirring, being petty, being petty with Lang above all people. I mean, this is so perfectly teed up for me. And I'm gonna tell you something. <laughs> Even I can't stir that. That's no, too. It's too I much. can't do that. That's too much.